with how mm. they rotate or getting aggressive. So maybe if Aurora make mistakes and NIP can capitalize, I don't know. I don't know. At the moment, I'm leaning pretty hard towards Aurora. That's why I'm struggling to paint a picture where NIP stand a good chance. I mean, it's it's the same thing NIP's had to do all tournament long for us, right? Is they've had to all qualifier long, rather. They've had to prove themselves. They've yeah. had to prove themselves. This is a new roster. Nothing changes about that. But if they want to make it to an ESL Challenger Yonchaping, if they want to make it in front of the home Swedish crowd, if they want to be a contender at that event, well, you've got to best a team like Aurora. Yeah. And, uh... That is not something they've shown us they can do just yet. I mean, think bigger picture about NIP and what they want from this project and the way they're going. In the long run, they have to be beating Aurora. They have to. The investment behind this team, some of the players they have, Aurora doesn't have that sort of scope like NIP has, the opportunities that NIP has. So it's very early days. In six months, they have to be beating an Aurora. But for now, it's what they can conjure up in the moment. One series to go. Winner is heading to DreamHack Summer. Challenger John Shipping, as we are calling it. And NIP, off the back of a very good Inferno against Metasport, are going to go again. Very different pistol, though. So many nades, actually. Look at this. HE on Maxter, too. I guess the HE is to break um, a smoke... On the entrance, if one comes down. Presumably. I don't think there's any other reason. Either that or just a damage dump if you get a rush. Is that? That's... Not... That can't be... That can't be... What? That can't be what he meant to do. No. Well, I mean, they've really smoked it, so... We'll talk about that after the round. Let's focus on the moment. Uh, he's broken my brain. He's broken my brain with that one. The way he stared at it afterwards, you know, he was just like, ah, it's not what I was supposed to do. Bomb's gone down. They would have been smoked out, even if they didn't smoke themselves out. Norvi's about to be dead. That's apparently what the HE was for. Somehow Norvi has dodged the counter -made. Here comes the fight, here comes the brawl. Everybody's here. And Blue Phoenix is a massacre in the competition. So it's all good. It's all clean. Result. He can work some miracles, but this one's too much to bear. No chance, no kit. He's sending up a prayer here in the church, and, well, he's been run down. So, we want to talk about that smoke? Well, I think it's even more interesting than that, because I think Nip missed their smoke. I think their smoke might have landed on the flowers boost. Um, well, but that still covers it. Well, not if it stays up there. I don't think it would fully cover. Yes, it does. That's a, that's a very intentional smoke that people throw. Okay, that's yeah. got, gotten quite popular in the meta because it covers off the flowers boost and covers off the cross. There you go. We're learning. I assumed... I assumed... It, does it roll off? Or does nope, it stay nope. up there? Stays up there. Stays okay. up there, but because of volumetric oh, smokes, it waterfalls down. Ah, that's why I was confused. I thought it had to come off. Res? <laughs> okay. Well, he's not confused. It's Aurora that's dazzled. And Rez is here to play. Result? Alone on A now. He's being abandoned. Deck is leaving him. But at least for the moment, they are stacking towards the right side. I don't know what they're going to be able to do with this weaponry. Do you not think they need all three players, though? Hmm. Yeah. No utility. NIP it's aren't committed. Luck. NIP can still go either way. Doesn't really matter where they go, right? Provided they go with uh, decisiveness. It is, in fact, going to be clean. Deco trades it. But they know where Deco is. He's on the cross. I mean, if they just hit, there's nothing he can do about this. There is nothing he can do about this. Desperation spam that confirms what they already knew. I'm worried about the last player. But it's just going to be a save for Aurora, so dry run this all you want. The bomb's going to go down, and it's NIP off to two. Yeah, love and life. Let's actually just check the stats for the whole qualifier after. I checked it before the semi, before the um, consolidation final we had earlier. Okay, yeah, it's a wrinkle. No surprise. It's catching up fast. The order goes Deco, Kenzie, Wrinkle, 
Um, then it's Waro and Andu. Andu, actually. Despite Game of Legion getting put out pretty early. Uh, and then it's Maxter. So, yeah. You're hoping uh, Maxter and Wrinkle can elevate themselves on that list, though. I think it's more if you're gonna have a chance. Can Rez maintain his performance from the last game? Because if Rez mm. is with them, suddenly it's a different prospect. That is definitely true. He was phenomenal. Uh, when the half switches, we'll see this, but he was phenomenal in defense of B. Rez and Alex playing as a tandem there, leaving the young guns to uh, collectively work the A side. Worked out quite nicely. In the defense. Mm hmm. Of the defense, we're not expecting much out from it in this one. They have hedged their bets. Three over here, North e getting cheeky with the USB. Actually, gets the dink. Probably a bit more than you expected, but with this kill up mid, they were thinking about just funneling in towards B for the kill on the chase. Now they're thinking, oh, A's nice this time of year. Just pump really brakes. pick your poison. And go wherever they want. They got so much use of Deco. Somehow finds okay. a window. Um, Straight peeked in. They're setting up their util. Catches them slipping. They need to wait for Blue Phoenix. They need to go as a four now. They know that's the one gun, but if they leave here, they might have to abandon the rifle. I think it's fine. I mean. At the end of the day on Inferno, if you've got two smokes, two mollies, and some entry flashes, you can just full exec B, and it's not like Aurora is going to have... I mean, clearly we know there's no util, but worst case scenario, you're looking at, what, one smoke coming down to wait out or something of the sorts? Mm -hmm. They're going to put in the coffin smoke early to try and bait that smoke. Doesn't come in. This should be fairly easy, I think. If Deco had a flash from his teammate, maybe something could be done, but... Surely he gets traded. Nice trade, indeed. Wank. Now should be clean street. They got rid of the gun. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Other player walks through. It's all in a result. Yeah. Sustained fight, not gonna work out. They made it expensive though. Mm. He's good damage. Very good damage. That's what we're here for. <sighs> Guns out. Deco on the big green. Wrinkle, wrinkle on the flip side. For those that haven't seen Wrinkle yet, um, aggressive mm. might be the word. Perfectly capable of playing passive, but Wrinkle... Wrinkle is, is a punchy terror stalker. He does not want to sit back every round. No, absolutely not. Wants to be the tip of the spear in most situations. Oh, Rez. One HP. Making his lucky stars he's alive right now. Took one of those nades on the chin. It was surprising that Alex hasn't come in banana to help him. Brinkle's nearby now and that Molly Goodbye. finishes the job. Okay. So man advantage. Nip don't know where Deco is, so that's why they're not just peeking out mid or, or swinging boiler. As Aurora sees a banana control. Mid just now being cleared. But I think Aurora are very happy. They got a man advantage. Banana is bolstered up. Smoke goes down. Lackey's going to commit to playing in tree. Nip's going for yes, we are. Did the flash catch Lackey? No. No, it does not. 3k for him. Awkward exchange in the end, but he's done his job. I think to say, this is too much. And then some, but crossing into the op, no save for him. Nothing taken through. Nada. Zippo, zero, Aurora on the board. What a way to do it, too. Four players alive, commanding round. Big play from Lackey. Yeah. It was exactly as they planned it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Grab the entry, take banana, leave one player deep banana behind a smoke, 
the entry flash lands above tree, so it was never going to white Lackey particularly badly, and he farms. Cleans up. He's gone. Alex, not gonna follow him. It'll be Deco instead. That's a hell of a shot off of the Tac-9. Okay. Hang on. Lackey's on notice. But he's ahead of the smoke, actually, so it's a ton of information. It's not gonna pull a rotation. Ninjas are assuming that with that smoke down, a player might be floating over to reinforce B, having lost a body there, but... Well, they'd be wrong, because Lackey's a bit of a madman. He's reinforced his team with the power of knowledge. Rezo falling off. Now he is alone. So even though they have the numbers here, it's just not going to matter. If Rezo is dealt with, that's a commanding round from NIP. Nice response. Isolates the one round win for Aurora. And just full control of the A-take. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's looking good. It is. It's looking good. I mean, they stumbled a little bit in the last, but... I mean, keep in mind, Rez was peppered up. Molly finishes him. They never really got him that round. Uh, this is a different story. I gotta say, I think the thing I'm most impressed by from this NIB team is how few communication issues we've seen. Because you can kind of tell when a team's not calming correctly, when they're not on the same page in terms of what they're actually translating or they're not picking up on each other's comms. And you would think with a player like Wrinkle, this isn't meant as any slight towards Wrinkle as an individual, he's just a player who played in a full Ukrainian team up until now, who's a young player. No idea what his background or language skills are. I have no insight onto that, but he's 19, and he's switching languages that he calms in. You would think there would be some more stumbles here, and we just haven't really seen any obvious ones. I mean, for any player going up through the ranks, um, communication, possibly more than anything, is the is the hardest thing to learn or, or the biggest jump. Mm. Lower levels, firepower, simple CS will get you a long way. As you go up, um, it's the fundamentals, it's the communication, it's the coordination to have good spacing or you know good, make good reads and transfer that information around quickly i mean uh, particularly during the major i guess you could you could hear the voice comms for the um the highlight of the round you can just hear how fast stuff happens yeah how, how you have to you know a lot a lot of the calls are quite simple they're kind of stuff like two are here go go elsewhere you know whatever one player backside gray flash gray flash something like this um Whereas, you know, especially when you're changing language, that can be quite difficult to learn. Fast. There's first contact. No utility behind it, though. They needed something. It's a little late here. The Molotov's a little deep, but Kenzie and Norvi deal with the players ahead of it. There was a big window of opportunity there for the ninjas in pajamas. That Molotov's designed to isolate one player, and three were on the other side of it, but Aurora just don't care. And now they've got the cork put into the back of Banana. Blue Phoenix, there's no way away from this. He's just trying to save the AWP, and, well, they hear him every step of the way. Off the angle, Razzle flying through. Blue Phoenix. Did he get away? This would be tremendous. 24 seconds. They know they've got him bottled in. They know they're pushing him back towards spawn. He's going to find the battle lines, though, and, and they don't want to risk any of these guns. It's a lot to give up. Yeah, they're backing off of it. It'd be tempting to try and clock him, but there's just 
so much value in holding on to what they've got. An interesting call from Nip. Just a full contact play. Um, unfortunately for them, Aurora had 3B. So they get the first kill. Um, they're hyper-focused. I think it was... I want to say it was Kenzie, the one CT. Whoever was the CT player, they were hyper-focused on him. And then the player front sight swung. And uh, Aurora and um, NIP weren't ready for that. They weren't ready for a first player. So, I don't mind the call. They just got a little bit unfortunate, I guess. So that site was laden with numbers. And they are going to invest again. Oh, it's a little on Blue Phoenix. Tech on Alex. At least the use is good. As Aurora. Ramp up the pace. Banana taken. Uh, but no frags found. Quite a lot of util expended. Certainly NIP have uh, plenty of nades to go back in for control should they want it. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Decker doesn't actually pull the trigger. Backed off. Not quite the ideal sequence there, but he was nervous about getting caught. There are four players here in the defense, so actually if they do get coaxed in towards A, it's not the worst thing in the world for Aurora. I guess it's good info. There's no AWP on B right now. I could walk back in Banana. What kind of utils left? The CT side has been drained. There's no nades left on V. I'm there are surprised they used so much zero. early on. And they're just going to commit actually to fighting. Norvi's on top of the sandbags. Um, He could do with Lackey closer. Flashbang is in and Norvi down for the fake. count. Back to A. Bomb's heading that way. This is a full thing. Alex has kept players locked in. That's a ripper of a shot. Deco under pressure. Rezal gone. And this is a save call. Beautifully done from NIP. They whittle out all of that utility from Aurora. Aurora, the team that's not shy about spending their nades early. And the ninjas capitalize. That was that was vicious from Maxter. Vicious. Mm. Wow. I mean... I'm not sure I'm totally on board with the call, to be honest. There's a lot of moving parts. To to exec B, send a player in, go back to A, there's 20 seconds left. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. <laughs> but Maxter ensures that is not a possibility. He he destroys Deku. No chance. They might regret this. What is the bodies here? Not oh, ideal, exactly. Actually, Kenzie's surviving. They can justify a buy. If he could drop one, they're going for this. He could even drop an op. He's going to drop an op. Okay, hold on. This becomes a massive swing round now. Because NIP lost those two bodies late. Mmm. We've got the chance to really upset the apple cart. And the two MAC-10s purchased? I think NIP thinks it's an eco. I think they've lost track of the cash. Yeah, they have. Maxter and Blue Phoenix are not buying full nades. So unless they're thinking already of an apps pop or something... Um, it's kind of the only explanation. They're going to be in for a rude awakening. Kenzie shows the AK. Double nades find res. Are they still going to go in for this abs pop? They are indeed. That's a filthy shot from Blue Phoenix. Wins it on the MAC-10. Trying for the mobility. Here they go. Short player blinded up. Deco under pressure. They have to concede the bomb plant. So this is already pretty successful from NIP. Bomb is up on the balcony or in the mini pit. Come on now. Get rid of that. And Alex, what are you he's gonna play the pit with the with the Mac 10? I don't think that. Oh no, a wrinkle dead. He's been cleaned up. That's the big gun out of the server. These are really bad positions for NIP. They're brawling in a short. It's just left to Alex. He's just got a Mac 10. He's naded down. He's done for. I think Ringle's going to regret not falling more into apartments, isn't he? I think they're going to regret the MAC-10s. I mean, they had two. They could have easily dropped rifles. Easily dropped two AKs over. Had four rifles. And if they have more AKs up in that post plan, I just think they're more confident. I, uh, more nades would have helped. I mean, they had two players that didn't fall by nades. Um, also true. 
re-smoke onto Moto, a molly onto Short, that quickly becomes a 15 second left retake. Which of course makes it much more hectic. Um, I think you're right. They must have just not had eyes on the economy. I mean, it was it surprised me a bit. There was quite that much cash. I don't entirely blame them, but yeah, no sight of the, uh, of the economy game. Still, though, there is money here for NIP. Um, it's hardly like Aurora is streaking away away with money themselves. They're not winning clean rounds. So, certainly ample opportunity in this half still to right those wrongs. Hmm. Taking those footsteps from Alex, I think that was almost just to try and draw utility. I mean, he's clear sandbags, but Roy have shown at the drop of the hat they'll dump nades. I mean, these guys have played enough Inferno to know that if we haven't seen any nades out of the B players yet, they're just saving them, and we need yeah. to we need to do something to get those nades out. Remember, they showed a contact play earlier. Um, she didn't work. One of them worked. And that was in the previous series. Either way, they've shown that they're not scared to run in. So that helps as well to, to pull some nades off some footsteps. This is ending A. Bombs over. Five players here. We're going in. Kenzie's got first blood. Giving up the ground, he's rerouting. 20 seconds. I mean, such an issue here. Blinded up though, Alex. That's a bit of a fortunate break. He never saw his opponent. But it may not matter if they can get these kills. 10 seconds. About to hit the clock. Oh, the bomb's still in mid. Why is the bomb still in mid? Well, round over. The bomb was on wrinkle. It was not supposed to be on wrinkle, I'll tell you that much. Remember what I said about we haven't really noticed the communication errors? We haven't really noticed the coordination errors? There's one rearing its head mm. at a very unfortunate time. Well, I think it feels like an, uh, an age ago now, but in that first series against Monty, we did see maybe the machinery wasn't perfect together. Yeah, the bomb out in mid. It wasn't just that. It was also that Maxter, the player in apps, had a flash, and they needed a flash so badly to come through that moto smoke. If he flashes into grave and they come through... I mean, it maybe it doesn't make a difference where the bomb was, but if had the bomb been on them, that would have been ideal. It's Aurora that takes the pause. Interesting. Mm. Uh, this could be because they've now drained their loss bonus and they have no cash in reserve, so maybe a quick, you know, let's play this round exactly as intended. We cannot lose here to a half by a force by whatever's coming. I guess that's the uh, that's the idea. I do think they're a team that sometimes takes these timeouts as well to do the cre the uh, the accounting, figuring out how they can maximize every dollar. But this is a critical juncture. I mean, there's not much left of this half, right? Three rounds. And Lackey wants them all. That's RV and Lackey, they. Taking that crowd, that is the off. That's the yeah, big gun down. Okay. It's way out in front. Well, this one seeming like it might be nothing doing. If I'm lucky, Barring... I'm, sco I'm scooping that orb. Just get it out of play. Just get it out of either in your own hands, chuck it up the map, whatever. Don't allow NIP to get back near that. He just wants to use it as bait on the end of the stick. Blue Phoenix was the one set of armor. He's gone. Uh, back here. <laughs> Not the care, most careful of hunts, but he does wind up with the extra kill. So, nice, you done. Not too much to fault him for there. And he's going to be Aurora up to at least five. Yes, sir. Starting to look good. Starting to look good for Aurora. And I mean, okay, so for most teams, you would obviously Aurora got the choice of side. They chose to start CT side. This is NIP's map pick. But I'm almost more scared of them after the switch, if that makes sense, when they can full five bulldoze sites without worrying about what time they're dropping the nades, how early they're dropping their nades. I think that's something that NIP may not be prepared to handle. No. 
Uh, result also hasn't arrived. <laughs> and he will come. No, he's been chilling. He will come. Do not doubt it. Credit, actually, give a shout out to Blue Phoenix. I mean, um, bumped up from the Academy team to play in NIP for the moment. We're uncertain about his future and keep saying it, but every good game he plays, be it in this NIP main team, be it in uh, various other international teams moving forwards. I mean, he's Israeli, so maybe on end point <laughs> at some point, he's uh, a boss mate. pressure that miss nade could have been the difference can't see feeling the weight now can't see feeling the weight the cavalry here yeah. needs to move they've got the info they've got the info result is cleared i mean he sees maxter but he's way down mid and kenzie has a second smoke he just scooped that off the ground i guess this should allow result to make it I'd love De oh, Deku's got the orb. So make it I'd he's love Deku to push, here too. he's got the orb, so it's so scary to get aggressive with the orb. Mm. He's got a molly your, on the bench. Trust your gut result. Trust your gut and get over to B. Razal's got a full belt of util. This is actually very good. Let's see what they can do. Cough and smoke comes in. When does he dump the molly? There's the one. He's got another. Smoke to cover things off. He's just going to wait for this one to fade. Dump another Molotov. 25 seconds. Time's getting bad. They have to go through it. Blue Phoenix is on the wrong side of this now. Oh, a million smokes. And Nade's now coming through from Result. It's chaos. It's pandemonium. They can't even find their way out of this. Bodies are hitting the floor. They're running out of time. But Maxter saves their bacon. Six seconds to spare, and now Deco's got a duel with a 5-7. He's been spotted. He's been dropped. Maxter, the hero of the moment. If anything, Alan, I think the biggest flaw there for Aurora was they spammed so much into the smoke, they ran out of bullets. <laughs> Possibly. Um, <laughs> I mean, that is just a mess, isn't it, as, as, as NIP are coming through. Anything could have happened. Um, how many nades were there in CT just getting scooped up and launched in again and again? I mean, that was a man-down situation for Aurora. They gave it a very good crack. Result has found a hell of a gap. Nobody's looking in this direction. He feels like a dead man now, but he's actually made it into T-spawn. I can't believe he's still fighting frags. This is egregious. Absolutely ridiculous. The result effect. You said it. He hadn't arrived. Well, now he's here. Had a big round. Had a big moment. Should have secured them six. Let's see. Maxter was the guy last time. Maxter will be the guy here again. Gecko, where's the comms? What? What's he waiting for? Maxter might have just done this all again. Bomb now down. Alex in position. Lacking already for him to be so deep. Okay, next on the corner. I'm just going to come down to the 1v1. Maxter's got to do it all. But he's ready. He's forward. He takes the initiative. And that's going to be the round. NIP with a lead. We'll head to the half.
Into the second half we go. Slim lead for NIP, courtesy of one Mr. Maxter. This guy steps up to the forefront in those last two rounds to secure really the, the only reason this scoreline isn't reversed. Let's see if NIP can capitalize on the work that he's done as they look to secure their map pick. What have we got? Julie's on Maxter. Where are you on site? His first oranges. So Alex is kind of baiting for him. He wants them to surge onto the site. Looking towards himself and let the Julies go to work. But that's just Aurora pushing back. Result is in the apartments. Maybe Arch the library smokes? If they go out long though. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Short is not very well defended. Look at Rez sprinting. God. Finney's is so isolated right now. He's burned. Fittingly for the Phoenix. Engulfed in flame. Rez soars above from the ashes. And now sets up Kinsey in a very difficult situation. Bob will go down. Money at least secured. But Maxter and Alex... The captain of the squad and the hero of the last half now on the scene. They know where he is. They got him hemmed in by the pillar. He's dipping, diving, dodging, dancing. And can only find one. Uh, it's in one of the bodies. It's in one of the bodies. There you go. Little victory lap. It's okay. He finds the bomb. He's got time. It's all good. That's a, that's a good couple of rounds for Maxter. Great round for Rez. Yeah, I mean, Rez has been very quiet. On Inferno. Two kills in the first half. Yeah. Oof. Well, we've seen it during the this event. We've seen it sorry, obviously obviously earlier today is I don't think Rez is playing his best counter strike at the moment, but sometimes he just goes nuclear. Um and that was one of those occasions. Bomb plant though ensures a buy. Pause in from Aurora. I like this pause. They understand that this round is critical to turning back Inferno into their favor. What have we got? We've got one rifle out. That's on Kenzie. Kenzie has played a bit of a blinder of a qualifier so far. How do they want to make use of that? NIP will know what's coming. They'll know this is a force fight. So they will not get surprised. Deep mid smoke. Do we fancy any aggression? Yes, we do. Go, Alex. <laughs> and he will collect. He will collect. They want to go in towards B, but the bomb's not even with them, so better get a move on, can't see. Here comes the play. Dink on. Elimination. Execution. Well, they continue to battle. This is the end of the utility. There's one more flashback. Well, they're not even going to deploy it. They're just going to brawl as they are wont to do. Need to plant this bomb now before that smoke fades. That's actually planting open. But here's the retake. Lackey posted. They're going to double fight coffins. This is going to get real weird. There's two players pushing through from the NIP side. Do they clear? Trying to base them out with the footstep. No, they don't clear tight. Right. Lackey punishes for it. Max has got to be the hero again. We called upon so many times, and this one is one too many. That is a huge recovery. What was that? 2v... Well, depends if you count the second kill on B as a trade or a... Or a, uh, you know, part of the one on three or one on four. A two on four, whatever that was. Um, yeah. Aurora turned that round back. You can see Lackey, as soon as that went, 2v3 in the afterburn, they knew they needed to fight. Sitting back towards dark, a new box. That wasn't going to work. And they win it. The critical juncture. Money snapped. Look at the buy for NIP. Body armor, pistols, a smattering of nades. Not going to be enough for a map like Inferno. 
this is a big opportunity now for Aurora to make good on what was a, a pretty treacherous first half. CZ exchange. Result. Okay. All right. Got on this one. He picks up the pistol. That's an early warning to Max there, but it's just a warning of what's to come. And the what's to come is Result's insane snappy ink. Less snappy for wrinkle. The last hope, he will at least bring one with him, but... That's all he can do. Saving the armor seems to be the priority for NIP right now. And Aurora will close this gap to just one round. Okay. Looking a lot better. I don't really need to hunt this. So we're gonna hold station. These peaks together. Terrorists win. All right. Aurora come within one, and this should be a pretty heavy eco at that. Quad stack. Here we go. Oh, I thought they were going to be all four in mid. Moving one off in towards apartment. That's boring. Come on, Rez. Commit to the bit. Commit to the bit. Either way, right now it seems like Aurora are perfectly content to take B. Rez all might die and give them a rifle. Proben. In a fight he didn't like. Down he goes. Gun gained. Okay, hold on. Max's first instinct is to rotate this over. But honestly, unless Alex pulls off some absolute heroics here, I don't know if one is enough to coax him in. This gun's got a lot of value to it, and this retake does not have legs. Every exit is worth its weight in gold, so. I'm not surprised Red's sticking around. Ooh, guess the dink. Finishes his food as well. They're back in. Oh my goodness. Are they going to go for this now? I'm hoping okay, they can okay. retake it, but... Yeah, they no can... time. Kenzie and Norvi need to get off the site, surely. Where do they go? Uh, buddy it up, go banana. Yeah, I think you just have to hope that Rez is either back the way or... Hold on. Bomb? Norvi? Run. Run, Norvi. Run. Yeah, he's okay. Not by much, though. Still two guns taken out of that, considering how little they brought in. I think NIP are going to be content. Should ensure some kits, at least. Oh, which will come in very handy. Okay, we've got a match. We've got a match. See what both these teams have to present for us. NIP, open up. It's a fairly standard opening. I think their smoke for Banana has missed by the look of it. Meant to land by the logs, but it does not. You're way out the map. So, that doesn't help proceedings. Mid now. Squared up to be taken by Aurora. Counter Molly will hold them at bay for a second, but that will not last forever. Does Wrinkle fancy a fight? Feels like it. Gets in front of the util. Lackey gets one. Ooh. And Deco finally. Somebody can deal with Wrinkle. Blue Phoenix surely up against the world. How on earth is going to deal with this many players? Gets the first, but he is surrounded. Stuck into the mini pit. Does make it two. 
credit to him, but the cavalry is just fading so fast that I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, it's an incredible effort. Trade is there. Rez all ready for it. They made it expensive, at least. Blue Phoenix getting more than he should out of the position, but uh, it just doesn't matter. Russ Cream's in the lead. They've had enough wins now on the T side in a row that their cash is resilient. Decision to be made for NIP. They've got a little bit to work with. How much do they want to commit? Not much is the answer. Yeah, I don't think they can go all in. They can't justify, can they? They could have brought out a hero rifle, but instead... Pistols across the board, but if you use it on Baxter. And they need to keep this Aurora money in check. They can't let it streak away. Oh my lord. That was a yeah. Trying to go bold. Trying to get weird. The gap in the smoke. I can understand it, right? How are you possibly going to get wins this round? Getting real weird with it. But, uh... Not gonna work out so well for them. At this point, the 5v3, Aurora can tend to play a bit slower than they normally would. Kenzie's on 2 HP. But they'll rock in towards uh, what looks to be an empty B site. They can play a measured game when they want to. They're one of those teams, aren't they, Aurora? That... Yeah. In the, in the bigger moments, they tend to sharpen up. Um... It's earlier on in these sort of qualifiers that we see the you know, the overzealous plays, the hunting, the after plants, the, you know, not committing fully to the save, going for the frags, these sort of things. But they know the gravity now. Two hours of focus could book you uh, a spot on land. And I mean, for a team like Aurora, they fancy themselves to go pretty deep, I think, in the event if they made it. Time to think for an IP. What do you think they're thinking about? I guess the next gun round. They got Get a lot of work to do. They got so much work to do now that Aurora keeping five alive. Mm. They got to win two, maybe three gun rounds on the trot to break the cash and, and force some ecos. Um, I guess the question is how if they want to take banana at the start. Do they? Because we had the Alex mid-aggression earlier. Hear me out. Double up. They got their funds? I guess they do. Yeah, Rez Maxer and Rez, Rez can both supply it. Drop. But who, I, I'm not actually sure who would second orb for this team. Well, presumably it'd be either Rez or Alex, as you'd want the B anchor doing it. Oh, you know, it'd be Singular Rez, wouldn't it? Purchase. Well, of course it'd be you Rez. Rez actually orbed for the team proper for a, for a period didn't he yeah that's true wow i mean there's been a million iterations i know i mean we, we try to forget it but i mean if they're if they're confident to give him the orc full time i'm pretty sure he can secondary <laughs> that shouldn't be a concern all right there's gonna go solo warp got all the util though so if they want to do a banana take or, or something of the sorts certainly have that option available to them and what have we got? It's free heading towards B for now. Uh, wrinkles on the A side of the map. He's going to post up on mid. And it looks like Maxid has dropped his belt of util for his teammates. So that's the way they're looking at this is like some extra nades on B. Otherwise, pretty standard stuff. Whereas Aurora, I feel an apps pop coming. Oh, he's got two. A third? Nearly. Puts them together now. Maxter on the backstop. I mean, this is a shutdown. Nothing doing for Aurora. Damage would be nice now, but that's not even looking likely. It's just one man lackey. Full annihilation. Blue Phoenix again stepping up for this team. The stand-in. The man who doesn't even have a spot secured. He continues to give them something to rely on here on the A side of the map.
Could be a map defining play. Could well be. Rez backs off. Doesn't want to give up an easy frag. There's still time for Lackey to get up banana and plant. Ah, uh, but on this HP. That's not a hell of an ask. I think Rez probably spotted. Yes, he did. Calls over the cavalry and Lackey. Maybe just save, brother. There is value in this AK and this armor and this smoke. And now he's just going to go looking. Okay, time will end it. Ooh, chance to breathe for NIP. First onslaught rebuffed, but as I keep mentioning, the money is so good for Aurora that these buys are going to come thick and fast. At least NIP keep a lot of players alive. And a pause in for Aurora. As maybe they want a discussion before this economy dwindles about how do they want to approach these rounds. They are coastless right now, aren't they? Believe so. Someone's in the server with them. But yeah, Hooch is out and I don't believe they have an announced coach. So I'm really not sure how much of a contribution they have from uh, whoever the sixth man is. On Liquipedia, it's listed as, as uh, Brain, but he doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't... Not a name I'm familiar with. And normally for a team of Aurora's caliber, it's going to be somebody that's been around. How hilarious would it be to be a coach just named Brain, though? Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, he is listed as the Aurora coach, actually. It wasn't when I checked their roster. Did this just get announced? I don't think they... Had... Away in the moment. Oh, a lot of lead exchanged on Banana. Somehow nobody's dead. Lackey takes... Oh, he's their assistant coach with under Hooch. He's been promoted. Okay, yeah. He is, is he now the full coach, full blown? Yes, yep, okay. he has been promoted. Interesting. Interesting. All the cavalry's here. Three players now coming out to long. Uh, this could be a problem. Alex isn't on the side with his teammates. He gets isolated out. This could be a problem. Pressure on. Blue Phoenix, can he deliver once more? So much for them. But they know where he's at. They know where he likes to play. They got a good read. They've got HEs and the drop down from Lackey. This time they catch him. It's too much to ask, too much to bear. Is the money resilient enough to bear this retake? No, not now. Goodbye, Alex. Get gone. Wrinkle and Rez have to back away. Mm -hmm. They have to sit on their haunches. They have to back off. Aurora may have just won a critical round. And NIP are watching their map pick slip out of reach. Here they are. They just got so much space. All that space towards long. Just doing a little of the research on uh, Brain. Apart from being on the coaching staff of Aurora now. He has uh, one team listed on HLTV. It's a team called Team Swag YOLO that he's played matches for from 2014 to 2018 occasionally. This is a true hero of our time. This is what we needed. Honestly, he was playing with Zoner, Tony Black, and Al Mazer on that squad, so. Davkost, Spaze, some iconic names going through. Hmm. for a while and we're not gonna hear from wrinkle again anymore okay has to be said wrinkle i don't want to say neutralized i think that's a strong word but certainly not quite the force to be reckoned with that he was against metasport stifled again on the aggression alex has to do work and he can't alex goes down immediately Aurora played enough Inferno to know that it's <laughs> eight players left, but it doesn't matter when Kenzie takes heads. This is dominant. Yeah. This is really flipped their way. Map point now. There will be enough money that there won't be limitations here. The AWP can come out. Wrinkle dropped a gun. I think they should be all fine. 
And indeed they are. So there's no excuses. There's no, oh, the money got away from us. But you gotta battle for these next three. That's the real problem. No more mistakes for NIP. They're gonna boost a player on top of porch. Gonna set up here with the AWP. Perhaps try and bait them into Blue Phoenix. That's a nice nade snack. It doesn't catch, but I like the idea. The player's in the close cubby. Looks like they want to take this B, though. Holding on to no presence A. They're correct. It's just one man. It's just Rez trying to dissuade them, trying to persuade them that this is, in fact, not where they want to go. These are not the droids they're looking for. And they're getting active on the flank. Max is pushing down. If they can stall this out. But no, Aurora has not taken the bait. A trade on Lackey through the smoke. The bomb. It's just a matter of time. And Rezalt's holding for this wrap. Holding for the banana play. And Max is not prepared for him to be just quite so deep. Wrinkle. Goodbye. And with him might go their final chance at this map. Blue Phoenix and Alex need a miracle here. Molotov into the forest. That'll first the peak, at least. But Deco, slip out uncontested. And now one man alone. Not nearly enough. Strong showing there from Aurora to close. 13 to 9. They snatch away Inferno. NIP gave us a run. They gave us a half. But once the side switched, I mean, it's what? Two rounds one after the swap? Yeah. And result just got a 4K to end it. <laughs> to stamp home his authority now in this team so yeah